Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to be diving deep into Hell Divers 2. And this guide video is going to be for beginners and advanced players. A lot of tips, tricks, and all of the goods that I can give you right here. So lock in as we proceed to give you what you need. I have taken my time and made sure that we set things up properly. And I want to start off slow and we're going to go back and forth with some advanced tips and tricks. So lock in. First and foremost, this is a co-op game. I would recommend for you to play with people. If you don't have people, go to the official Discord or your favorite content creators yes, community and second. jump on board to play the game with others. Um, you can do it solo and I have some tips for that. But I would recommend to jump in with a squad because there is some better strategies because you share all the resources you pick up and people can kind of do big hard missions together and end up grabbing resources separately that will reward you and them so not so bad after all but if you're into the solo i do have some really good tips for that as well so lock in as we continue to give you nothing but the best we're going to start off with something that is super simple and easy to get into which is your settings and we're going to jump into it right away and i want to talk about what to expect in this game first and foremost it's a third person shooter of course I want you to get in here and there's a lot of settings to go through we're not going to run through everything guys because you know how that goes i make a possibly make a second video if you get a couple hundred likes on the channel we'll we'll do that but i have my vertical up to the max and then i put the motion blur lower all right the vertical field of view is basically just going to give you a wider view which i love for this game because there's things coming at you from all angles so you want as much as you can see and then the blur at 20. i didn't drop it all the way down i feel like a little bit it's okay and it's flowing good take off depth of field this is going to make it feel too tight and this is going to open up your your visuals okay that's the number one tip for settings there like i said i would have to go through a big guide but we are going to go to controllers and show you the look sensitivity i have this pretty high and you don't need to have it at this number at 5.50 but somewhere within the 450 to 550 you're able to react better. And remember, you might get attacked from the side or behind. You want to be able to turn quickly and have that to your advantage. Okay. And then, of course, sensitivity is always personal preference. So I don't want to go too crazy into this. But aiming, this is when you do aim down sight and you're not just looking with the camera. And this is important to have a little low so that you can control the recoil and have a better control for your playstyle out right that's that there's plenty more like dead zones you have to test this for yourself to make sure that your controller isn't drifting but the lower you put it the more responsive you are i turn off acceleration and the reason for this is because if you have it on it might feel like your control is going slow at the start with this it will be responding exactly the way i input it which gives me a better control overall and you're looking at my character right now. This is me just getting started with this character as uh, I've been enjoying the game a ton. And there's so much to get into. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of different things and help you guys along the way. First and foremost, Let when you know, get into know. this ship, you're able to start up your mission and things. We're going to go to that later. But I want to go to the stratagems. Okay, these right here are your key utility. You're going to start off with the machine gun and you can use it. I love using it when you're laying down or even crouching because the stability is way better and you're going to be able to fire more. Trust me, as long as you have good positioning, you'll be fine. Now, there's a lot of weapons that a friend of mine has recommended and that are very high level items. I'm not going to get into those because we don't want to be on this video all night because that would be its own video. You want to see more of this you have to hit that like button so that we can go ahead and continue on this youtube journey but for solo players i told you i got your back i wanted to test the game out on solo so i bought 
both the centuries right away. And basically what this does, it allows you to take control of an area, focus on something behind you to the right of you. Now, one note I want to say that these things will kill you if you walk into the fire. The whole game is friendly fire. So you want to make sure that you watch your back. All right. So that's all we're going to do for the stratagems right now. We're going to get into more things um, very soon. But I wanted to just get into a couple of things for the beginners. You have the advantage to look at the world. There's a galaxy going on, but you're going to pick a planet. And in here, it'll give you the details. You can pick the different difficulties. I've already gone up past extreme and looking really good so far halfway through. But we're going to play on trivial just so I can break some things down and give you guys a guide. Once you pick the mission that you want, there's plenty of them. The biggest tip that I can tell you is that, hey, do your daily missions. Sometimes they're really simple. They're really easy. There's challenges. For example, kill three chargers. That should be very easy. There's plenty of other elements that you can do that are going to help you get XP and to continue to evolve in the game. All right. So lock in, lock in. Now, another thing I wanted to do live demonstration is this is the actual mission here, guys. And then this is my extraction, okay? Do I want to start at the extraction, clear out the area so that I can get to the mission and then head back safely? Or do I want to head behind and start the mission off right away? There's choices. And if you're with players, you've got to make the right decision and figure all that out. Today, we're not going to be trying to get into any trouble. Hopefully this is a, a safe area, but I'm going to select on the side here and what I want to do is show you guys the stratagems. There's four slots for me right now. Pick all of the stuff I have available. And this is going to allow me to utilize these. And we're going to talk about what you need to do with these, which they are probably the most important part of the game in some ways. And I actually really, really love them big time. So with the stratagems, gems, you basically can throw them on enemies and land them on top of the enemy and it's going to do heavy duty damage okay so let's just say you want to call in your machine gun that we just saw a couple seconds ago which you're going to have by default i personally want to throw it on top right on an enemy because it will land on them and it will stay there and it would crush them and do heavy damage, especially to heavy enemies. So this is something you want to use as a weapon itself. Never mind picking the weapon up and doing all that stuff, okay? Just have it there. And also, when you're getting spawned in, you can control where that lands and how that works. So be smart about what you're doing and utilize the game to your advantage, okay? That's important. Now we're going to get into a couple tips and tricks and, and a lot of good information for you guys. We're going to talk about the ping system. As you can see, I can ping things just by tapping the ping button. It's different for every system, but that's it. Just tap it. But what I love is that not only can I mark, I can also say, hey, wait, I can tell them thanks. And, you know, just typical communications. No, follow me. And then now that's very, very critical because you want to be able to communicate with your team. Even if you don't have a mic, that is the way to do it. Trust me, it's going to be useful if you see an enemy and you just tap the button to where they are. Your teammate might not know that they're there, but now they do because they've seen that you ping them. OK, critical, critical. So that's important. Now we're going to get into the map. OK, in the map, this is the strategy map. I can literally play with it. A little bit and then i'll get into fire you can run around and look at it while i'm running just check the map see where i need to go you can zoom in i can also control the map a little bit with my stick and then i can select somewhere to ping for my teammates of course i'm not going to do that right now guys but i just wanted to give you the general idea of how that works very critical to to understand that that's important because you're going to need it because I want to zoom out. Let's just say and then find where I need to go. Hey, we're going to go up this way. There's something right here. You can ping it and then we're good. Okay. Very key. 
And I wanted to talk about firing and shooting your weapon. As you can see right now, there's a couple of enemies over here. I have my regular burst fire assault, but then I can turn this into a single fire weapon. I can do a lot of different things. And I'm going to show you all once I finish up some of these guys, when I hold the reload button, it lets me go to semi or burst. I'm going to keep it on auto for these guys because they're going to come after me. Here he is. So the point behind that is to understand the system and utilize it for your advantage. Sometimes you don't need to fire a lot of ammo. You want to save it. You can switch it to burst semi or whatever. You can do the same thing with the attachments back and forth. Very cool system. Very simple, straightforward, right? And so make sure you utilize that as you do. Okay. Now, another thing about aiming is you can actually aim down sight, as you can see right here, aiming down sight, super cool because sometimes you want to get the focus fire and then make it happen. All right. Now, these are just simple things. I know you guys are like, Hey, I know all that. Well, did you know there's a lot of loot and different things in the map that you can pick up along the way? For example, we know the objective is over there. There's a big beam happening. But things like this, I can run into and open this up with a teammate and end up getting all the loot inside of there. Plus, there's more stuff right here. Stems, common. So now I'm gearing up to actually be ready to go out there. Okay, so do that. Now, what another thing is you can see these these different locations. Some of them have beacons. Some of them have these bright lights. There's one right over here. There's another one that keeps beaming on here and here. So if I go to these places, I'm going to find some really key things and, and special important things that are going to help me, whether it's resources, some metals. Um, there's a lot of currency that you'll find throughout just roaming the different areas. Super key. OK, now when I start off and I land, I like to call up like I just did a machine gun or call up whatever I might need that is useful. Okay. There's things in the game also like the hell bomb that you can find in the map. And then while you're doing an objective, you can call that in and do some heavy duty damage. It's going to be very critical if you want to succeed. Now, as you can see right here, I just came to one of the signals, picked up a new weapon, and this is a great weapon here. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for the moment, grab some ammo and I'm good to go. So, as you can see, just something simple like that has helped me get a new weapon and slowly get upgraded as you go. We don't want to trigger too many enemies right now because I want to talk about a couple of other factors that you guys should be looking forward to. OK, first of all, I don't have any friends because I'm doing this test run for you guys. But if you're playing with others, you can help them reload big RPG weapons or you can stem them. You see a, uh, enemy, a teammate's health is very low, hit them with a stim. You can use your stims on them. Another big thing that's very cool, if I hold down on the PlayStation 5, I'm not sure which button it is for each console, but right over here, I can drop the weapon of my choice. And so I drop that, friend can pick it up. Guess what I'm gonna do, call in a second one and then basically we'll both be using the same weapon, even if they didn't bring it into their field. Okay, so that's just an example of things you can do to really, really enhance your teammates and yourself in this game. Okay, and another quick note, as you can see, these enemies keep coming. There's probably a nest close by. I can go to that nest and destroy it to eliminate the enemies from coming. If you're wondering, why do they keep coming? Why do they keep coming? Well, that tends to be probably the main reason why, because you haven't shut down the nests. And you know, that brings roaming into the picture. Instead of going straight to the objective, I can roam around, find some cool things all over the map. As you can see, there's another one right here beaming, and that's a ship. I can go over there and maybe get some special items that are gonna help me big time, all right? Things like the satellite, which unlocks 
everything on the map. It tells me where everything is. If I go to the satellite and find it, there's other ways, but that's just an example of what you should be thinking about when you go forward. Beacons and satellites are gonna help you big time. All right, now let's say you're in combat and one of these big ships comes down, they're gonna drop enemies off. If you have a rocket launcher or something heavy duty, you can shoot that and destroy it and kill off all the enemies that were in the ship as well. You don't have to worry too much about the actual enemies anymore. You can just take down the ship, okay? And speaking of taking things down, let's just say we had a charger or somebody with heavy armor. A lot of people panic and they'll run away and they'll just start shooting at it in any way. Honestly, don't waste your bullets. Focus on one area because their armor is breakable. So let's say this is his left side. I'm going to shoot this side over and over and over and over. I want to basically maximize my potential by opening up a weak spot on the character on the enemy okay very critical very simple straightforward okay there's a lot of other things to to talk about when it comes to this game and mechanics that i absolutely love diving is really good but you want to be careful because you do have a window where you have to get back up so i like to jump and then stand up right away by basically jumping and and dodging and dodging again so i'll jump dodge again and i'm back up and i can continue running away another big trick is if you're using a smaller weapon you can actually run and shoot looking behind you so see for example right here if somebody was chasing me it's a very easy way to stay alive while doing damage to some enemies okay pay close attention to that that's a very cool feature in my opinion so there's little things like that that are going to make you better as a player. Things that's going to help your teammates and uh, possibly take you to that next level in this game. With all that being said, I'm going to leave this here. This is kind of just a beginner guide with a couple of advanced tips. And hopefully that helped. I want to continue doing these. So go ahead. Let me know in the comments what you would want to see. A lot of people probably want a settings guide and some advanced tips. I was figuring out how to farm better. And that's going to be key to get all the weapons and to unlock everything and things like that. So there's a couple strategies that I have. So go ahead and leave it in the comments what you found and what you want to see next. We appreciate you out here. Peace.